Okay, so this is just a very simple um, explanation on a very, very low level risk assessment method um, with special reference to the threshold values because I've seen so many people struggle with the threshold values. So earlier we said risk is a function of probability and impact. And what we've done over here, we've just chosen a very, very simple scale, probability 0 to 10, impact 0 to 10. Probability, low probability, 1, 2, 3, high probability, 9, 8, 9, 10. Impact, remember impact is on the three things that we look after in terms of project management. The scope, the cost, and the schedule of the project. Now, if we multiply these with each other, we get an equivalent value and an equivalent value is now something that we can compare different risks with each other. So what we are saying is, remember, if this is 10 and 10, probability 10, impact 10, it means your maximum equivalent value that you can get is 100. Now, remember, it's not percentage because we're not talking about probabilities over here, but you can say 10, 100 is a lot out of 100. So if you've got a low, low risk, low equivalent value, you're going to have low, low values over here, high risk, high equivalent value, high values over here. So that's just, a, that's just a way of quantifying the risks that we are busy with. Now, the question that we sit with is we ask, what do we do with risk that could happen or if it happened? So remember, we're busy with risk analysis over here. So what we then say is we set up a scale for ourselves to sort of help us to, to make the decision in terms of what we do in certain, when we deal with certain risks. So if you look at uh, risk number A here, it's a high, very, very high risk because it's got a risk because it's got a high equivalent value. So you're going to deal with that risk different than you would with risk C, which got a very low equivalent value. So what we do is we set up a threshold table over here. And the threshold table tells us or the person who deals with the risk, how will we deal with the risk when it comes? So remember, this is specific to the project that you are in. This is specific to the organization that you are in. So what we do is we say that if the risk or the equivalent value is between 0 and 10, then we do something. In this case, the something that we do is nothing. We accept. If it's between something else and something else, we do something else, which in this case is a medium risk. We quantify contingencies. So what will we do if it happens? If it's between something else and something else, I'm going to tell you now why I call this something else and not sort of hard values. It's a high risk. So we're going to get mitigation in place, which says we're going to action it before we start. And then if it's really high, we say it's unacceptable. We're going to just transfer the risk. We're going to give it to someone else to make the decision. So the reason why I'm not dealing with hard values over here, why I didn't tell you 10, 40, 75 and so forth, is because this is specific to the project that you are in. So maybe if you're a, pro a company or a project that deals with, with risk in a, uh, with kind of very high risk appetite, it means that these values are going to be lower. It means it might be between zero and five will be a low risk. Or other way around, it might be that you are very risk adverse, which means that you might have a very high band over here. So remember, this is just the risk, the risk, the risk threshold table is just a way to assist you, to help you in dealing with the risk, to help you to make the decision in terms of what you're going to do. And that's it. That's actually it. So you're going to say risk C is four, four falls within that band. It's a low, low risk. I'm going to accept that. Let's take risk D, D36. It falls within that band. So I'm going to quantify a contingency. And then the next step is we need to say, remember, it's not just good enough in our risk analysis process when we, when we, when we plan for our project to say, I'm going to quantify a contingency with a specific risk. Remember, these, what you now see over here as A, B, C's, D's and E's, these are actual risks. So if I say I'm going to quantify a contingency on D because of the threshold value, then I need to say what is what are those contingencies going to be? Or for this case, what am I going to do? What I'm going to get in place for D for a plan B if D surface in the project? And that's the whole story. That's the whole story. But what we now do is we take it one level further and we say that we put this visually on a nice little graph like this. So when you see these bands, remember this is probability impact. If you see these bands, I want you to see these threshold values. 
So if you say the first band is between 0 and 10, remember that line represents the 10 line. It means I'm talking about this band over here. So what you do is you plot these on your risk graph. There you got it. I plotted all of them. And where they are will tell you what to do. So again, let's see, look at D. Remember we said D was a fairly low risk. We got contingencies in place. So that's probably what we're going to do with B, D, and maybe E. It depends on where it sits on that side or that side of the line. And obviously, um, the, the uh, orange line will be the mitigation. The D, the, the, the red line will be pass it on. Someone else makes decisions. And the C line will be, or C band will be, do nothing. It's fine. We'll take it as it comes. So that's just a very good low level off the cuff example of showing how you analyze risk in the in the equivalent value and you pop that into a system of threshold values you pop that same into a uh, values into a into a graph and now visually you can make decisions of your project but it's very important the last step is very important not to just stick with the 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 generic stuff but to actually say what are the con contingencies that I'm going to get in place, what are the mitigation that I'm going to get in place, and what are, oh, how am I going to, or to who am I going to, to escalate the project if the risks or the activity, if the risk is too high.